to talk about connectors. One of the customers wrote in and asked if we could learn more about connectors. So here we are. I listen to you guys usually. So anyway, here is this is 18 gauge bright copper, this is 16 gauge antique copper, and there's a few different ways to make connectors. I'm just going to jump right in. The easiest of all is jump rings. So you can make your own jump rings. Buying jump rings is always the best because they're made of stronger metal usually, no matter what coating is on the outside. But you can make your own if you're in a pinch or you need a certain color you don't have. This is a jump ring mandrel that you can get for, you know, eight or nine bucks. You can probably get it on Amazon and it's stepped. For this purpose, I'm just going to make about the, the last size with 18. So you just wrap it around, try to make it tight. Slide it off and you have this cool little springy thing and you get your fingernails in there and uh, whoa. Open it up and you got some nice little spring coil that you can use to make a battery or electrocute yourself. Don't do that. Now if you cut these at the exact same spot or as close as you can by lining it up like this, you can make pretty much the same size jump ring over and over and that'll help you out. Remember jump rings and any connectors you always open and close like a door sideways like this. Like that. So basically you're opening and closing it like this. Never like that. If you do it like that it's gonna warp it and it won't close the right way. And you got instant chain that way. The next easiest connector is a figure eight and you just do need about an inch if it's 16 gauge. Grab it on the end right about at the level that you want the loop to be and just wrap it around itself. And then play around with the size till you get good at this. This is a little bit too long. Grab it at the end you want again. Wrap it around itself again. Flatten it out with these guys. Make sure it's tight. And there's your figure eight. The next easiest connector is like a figure eight with a swirl, basically. So make your first loop. Again, you could do this with round, with flat nose. It doesn't have to be round. Just hold it tight so you don't slip. Wrap around itself. Make the other one go the other way. Wrap around itself. And then just keep going with it. And there is a very cute little connector. Put a bunch of these together and make a really pretty bracelet or necklace. Now, if you're going to connect one to another, you're going to want to take this and turn it a quarter turn like that so that when it latches onto the next one, all the pieces will line up flat and they won't turn like this every which way. But that's pretty simple. Now, you want to be careful with these. If you use gauges that are too thin or if you make your coils too wide, it's not going to have strength and it's going to pull apart. So test it. Feel if it has the strength you want. If it doesn't have the strength you want and you still want to use that gauge and you still want to use that kind of swirl, there's a trick. Take it like this. And wrap the swirl around the loop. I'm going to mangle this one because I didn't plan for it, but... Basically, you get the idea. Now it's super tight. Now it's not going anywhere. I'll do another one. This is 18 gauge, which is thinner. So I'm gonna show you how to make this tight. Make our loop. Make the outer loop first. The big one. Come around. And then just when you're getting ready to end it, come through like this. And then make your second loop. See that is going to be much stronger from pulling apart. And again, turn it a quarter turn if you want to connect a bunch of them together so that you can open this up and connect it to the next one. Here's another fun one you can do. Make your loop. 
and then come down about half an inch, a little less, make another loop like this. Bend it and then hold this tight and just wrap around. This is crap, let's do this over. All right, so this is a much, almost like the figure eight, much tighter. Let's see, I left this long piece and I'm gonna wrap it around, which makes the whole thing extra strong. And we can even wrap it around and start to scarf this part. I'm holding this very tight because my fingers are so strong because I do these push-ups and sit-ups with my fingers, but you might need two pairs of pliers to do this because this is actually hurting. Just don't hurt your wrists. I'm gonna cut it right there and I'm gonna tuck that in. And there we go. That's a cool connector, I like that one. I bet you can do this with really thin gauge. If you have really thin gauge, like a 20, 22, and you wrap it like this, you can still make a pretty strong connector. Let's try one. This is 20 gauge, so let's see if we can do this. Ready? Oh yeah, I remember this one now. I totally forgot it. I had to think of it while I'm making the video. All right, so see how that goes? I'm gonna bend this in. Oh yeah, this is smart. Look at this. Okay, see how that is? Now, we're gonna do it on this side. There we go. Oh yeah, now we can hold this tight and wrap it. Oh, this is kind of fun. Wrapping can be fun. Especially if you're a multi-platinum hip-hop artist or you like to wrap Christmas presents. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Look at that. And now we, we made our little scarf. We cut this end halfway and then we tuck it right into the bowl of the scarf like I show you on 17 other videos which you should be watching because it'll help me build this channel and once I build the channel I'll get super rich and then I'll call all of you back and we'll share the riches together oh yeah I like that here's a funky fun one watch this grab this grab it with the flat end and just make some real sharp triangles all right and just keep making random geometric thingies All right, I don't know where the other video cut out. I got interrupted by some rude people who are trying to buy something from me. But all these rude people always trying to give me money. Anyway, so here you have like a fun version of the other one. It's like all kinds of funky angles. And again, you want to make sure this is not going to be too loose. If it is, take this loop and tuck it through there so then it's extra strong. Now, if you know, you might have to muscle it in depending on the gauge. But the most important thing is don't be lazy and don't hurt your wrist. There you go, now it's starting to look like the squiggle earrings. From the squiggle earring video, watch the squiggle earring video, it is the best, coolest video you'll ever see. Anyway, that's funky. You can make it even funkier, make it look like a rose, let's do that. got like a weird um, alien sci-fi artifact but in any case you make some cool ones like this I once made a whole bunch of connectors out of cutting up a coat hanger that necklace was really strong that I made out of the coat hangers anyway let's make some necklaces and bracelets now you know what I'm bored let's go to the next video if you want to see the bra bracelets and necklaces tune into the next video and we'll just finish this one up as connectors Connector power, leave any other questions that I may have left out of the video in the comments. In the comments, in the comments, comment! <laughs>